Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a new capability that just came out today for Creative Cloud members and that is shared libraries or collaboration. Uh, we've had libraries now since the October updates and now we get to we get the ability to not only uh, create libraries for ourselves but ones that we can also share with others and have them have access to the assets or um, be able to work with the assets that we're creating. So let's go ahead and uh, do a quick review of how libraries work and then we'll go ahead and talk about the collaboration features. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my library panel. I'm here in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want to create a brand new library. And when I create this new library, I'm going to go ahead and say that the name of it is TNT for Terry and uh, the other Terry <laughs> that I'm my designer I'm going to share it with. So let's go ahead and create. And now at this point, I can go ahead and just simply click on the items that I want to add to the library. So if it's something on the canvas, I can just simply go ahead and drag it over and add it to the library. So that logo is now there and being synced to Creative Cloud. I can also say, well, I kind of like the green fill color as well. So the color is automatically detected of whichever color you have selected. I'm just going to go ahead and add that color in as well. So I've added two things to this new library right off the bat. And now I'd like to go ahead and capture something with my iPhone that I want to add to my library. So here I am in my Adobe folder on my iPhone. And I'm just going to go ahead and launch the Adobe Shape application, which you can download for free from the App Store. Now the Shape application automatically brings up the camera by default. But if I capture it now, it's going to capture it in whatever my default library was uh, or last used library. So I'm going to can cancel out of that for a second. I'm going to switch to that new TNT library that we just created. Now, of course, it's not showing any shapes here, but the other two items are there. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that I want to capture something with my camera. And here's the microphone that I'm actually using to record this uh, video with. So I'm just going to go ahead and say capture that. We've got it nice and isolated. Uh, there are a couple of pieces here that got into the shot, like the edge of the desk and the edge of the lamp there. So we can go ahead and take those items out. And then we can say that we want to uh, remove some of this other stray uh, cabling or marks. We can just go ahead and wipe our finger on that. And now that we've got that subtracted out of it, we're just going to go ahead and say that we want to capture this. And what it will do is shape is now rendering or drawing the shape of that microphone and allowing me to now um, save it. I'm just going to call it mic uh, 96. Okay, which is what it is. And we'll save it. And of course, it's saving it to that library. And once it's saved to the library, based on the internet speed, it will go ahead and upload it to uh, Creative Cloud and allow me to see it in my other libraries. I can see right here in Illustrator that Illustrator has detected it and is now syncing uh, any changes that were made so that they will appear here. Now, we can sit here and wait for that, but we don't really have to wait for it. It is going to show up in the library. Let's go ahead and head over to Photoshop, where we also have the library features as well. So I'm going to go ahead and bounce over to Adobe Photoshop CC. And by the way, the shape did pop in. And uh, here we are in Photoshop. And I, again, have the same library panel that I have access to, the same library that we just created over while we were in Illustrator. And it shows me the items that are available to me in Photoshop. So I can use this color. I can use this uh, icon. I can't use the shape here in Photoshop unless I go in first and... Uh, convert it into something like a graphic from, from Illustrator. Then I can use it in uh, Photoshop as well. So for example, I can take this Play On logo and I can drag it right into Photoshop and use it. So here we are. Let's go ahead and scale it down. Uh, we have a for placement only graphic there that we don't need. And of course, we can go ahead and delete that uh, for placement only or just simply turn it off in the layers panel. Okay, so there it is. Uh, we have our play on. We used one object from one application into another from the library. Now, again, that was just a quick refresher. What's new? What's new is I now have the ability for any library to go in and say that I want to collaborate. So if I say that I want to collaborate, I get I, it takes me out to the web. 
takes me to my Creative Cloud uh, account on the internet. It takes me to my libraries on the internet. And then it shows me um, any assets that I have, including files, libraries, or anything that I've done there. And uh, gives me the ability to now add collaborators to the TNT library. So I'm going to add uh, the other Terry. Uh, of course, I'm going to make up this email address, so don't try and email him there. So Terry at hisdomain.com and I will go ahead and invite that person even though that particular person doesn't exist and they will get an email inviting them to accept access to that library and then that library will show up in their list of libraries that they can go in and work on. Now um, this doesn't stop here of course we can go back to for example into Photoshop or any other other applications we can go into uh, the Creative Cloud uh, desktop app and we can say, for example, we want to go to Market Assets, where I kind of saw a nice vinyl, um, uh, uh, vinyl uh, mock-up here. And I'm going to go ahead and add this to the TNT library. So I'm getting this royalty-free um, artwork that I can use for my mock-ups or use inside my uh, designs. And of course, that will eventually sync and show up in my TNT library. So that's how libraries work and now you have the ability to collaborate with others. So for example, that library is uh, shared with one person. I've got another library here. Um, my icons library, for example, is shared with another person. And so you can have different libraries for different reasons shared with multiple people or other people or just privately to yourself. So that's the new shared libraries with Creative Cloud. If you're a Creative Cloud member, full Creative Cloud member, you can take advantage of this right away. Uh, just go ahead and update uh, Photoshop and Illustrator and you'll get the collaboration features inside those applications as well. Take care and hope you learned something today and have a great one.